Viscosity 101. What to know about this important test? Viscosity is a quick and simple measurement that describes a fluid's resistance to flow. A slurry with a high viscosity is thick, while a slurry with a low viscosity is thinner. Ensuring that slurries are within their proper viscosity ranges prior to dipping is critical as viscosity can affect draining, shell thickness, coating quality, and more. Measuring viscosity can quickly give you an indication of slurry behavior and readiness. It is crucial to the day-to-day -day operations of any foundry. r, &R recommends checking viscosity at least twice per shift. Be sure to record all results for record keeping. Selecting the appropriate viscosity cup for your foundry is as equally important as testing viscosity itself. There are several types of viscosity cups on the market. The number of the cup is determined by the hole size in the bottom of the cup. For example, the higher the number, the larger the hole. Cups with a higher number are used for more viscous liquids. As each type and number of cup gives its own unique reading, it is important to never switch cups once one is selected. Refer to the vendor's application instructions when selecting a cup. To begin the measurement, ensure that the cup is completely clean and dry. With the stopwatch in hand, submerge the cup into the slurry so the entire cup is covered in slurry. Pour the slurry out. At this point, the cup should be completely coated with slurry. Resubmerge the cup into the slurry and pull it straight up and out of the slurry. Start the stopwatch immediately once the cup clears the surface of the slurry. Stop the stopwatch at either of the following three endpoints. Break at the bottom. Watching from the side of the cup when the slurry breaks at the bottom of the cup. One inch below. Watching from the side of the cup when the slurry breaks one inch below the bottom of the cup. Through the hole. Looking down into the cup when daylight can be seen through the hole. When viscosity measurements are taken, the stopwatch should always be stopped at the same end point. It is vital to ensure that all operators are measuring viscosity using the same method and stopping the measurement at the same end point. Consistency is key in measuring viscosity. Variabilities between operators can cause issues such as running an out-of-specification slurry or unnecessarily adjusting a slurry that is actually within specifications. These issues can result in poor shell quality, wasted slurry, and more. When measuring viscosity, it is also important to consider the location of the measurement inside the slurry tank. Taking the viscosity measurement where the slurry is mixing well and there is no pooling of slurry is the desired location in the tank. It is good practice to also survey the viscosity profile across the surface of the slurry tank to ensure that the viscosity does not fluctuate more than 1 to 2 seconds across the tank. Parts are typically dipped into the center area of the tank. If the viscosity is too low in that location, thinner, weaker shells can result. If this becomes an issue, mixing speed, propeller location, or paddle design can be adjusted for more consistent mixing. As viscosity cups are used over time, they should be checked to ensure that they are still providing accurate readings. Any slight damage to the cup from dropping or denting it can cause the cup to provide inaccurate measurements. Facilities should have two sets of cups, floor cups, to be used on a daily basis, and control cups to be kept in a controlled, clean environment such as a supervisor's office. Periodically, measure viscosity using both cups and record the results. When there is variation of more than two seconds between the floor cups and control cups, the floor cups should be discarded and replaced with the control cups, and new control cups should be purchased. When taking viscosity measurements, the following factors should be considered and documented. Define the type and number of viscosity cup used for each slurry. Indicate the location inside the tank where viscosity measurements are taken. Clearly define the endpoint for viscosity measurement. All operators should know how many viscosity readings they need to conduct. That is an average of two successive readings. And define an allowable variation from reading to reading. Test viscosity at least twice per shift. Refer to vendor's application instructions for viscosity targets and allowable ranges. Properly care for and store viscosity cups. Clean cups with water. 
thoroughly dry and hang clean cups, or store cups in clean water. Conducting regular viscosity testing in your foundry is essential to best control the properties of your slurry. It is necessary to ensure that the methods and tools you are using to test slurry viscosity are consistent and in proper working condition so that they can continue to provide dependable results. Consistent test results lead to a more stable slurry, which in turn leads to better castings with thicker, stronger shells. Ransom and Randolph Investing with Innovation